Hey guys, I'm Dust with JP and welcome back to part two of maintaining your AR platform. Now in the previous video, you saw that we showed up here at Real Avid. They make some awesome tools and we thought we'd take advantage of that and clean this AR. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this upper of the PSC-19 and we're gonna break it down and we're gonna get into the maintenance. So we're gonna cover the barrel, oiling of the bolt carrier and the top charger, as well as the side charger. Now step one, we're gonna break this thing apart. We can go ahead and pull back on the top charging handle here. We're gonna slide our bolt carrier out. Set that down here. Do the same, we're gonna go ahead and remove our top charger. Now for you guys that are running any of our JP side chargers, we're gonna go ahead and take that part. We're gonna lift this up. We're gonna put our thumb here just a little bit, slide it back till we hit the groove, pull that apart, and we'll set this to the side. Now our upper is ready to go. So first thing we're gonna do as far as getting into the barrel, we're gonna take the JP clean ride uh, guide here, cleaning rod guide. We're gonna go ahead and place it in our upper. Like that. All right, now of course we already had everything set up to help this, uh, this whole thing go by a little faster here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our bore brush, put it on here and we're gonna use a little, uh, now in the manual it says to dip the bore brush and we're gonna go ahead, since this is in our place, we don't wanna make a huge mess. So we're just gonna kind of drip it on here and we're gonna make a mess anyways, as you can see. And we're gonna go ahead and push this into our bore ride guide. Now it's, it's really critical that we pay attention to the end of the barrel because we could have a possible, we don't want to damage the crown there. That's why we have the guide rod in here or the bore guide rod. Now we're going to make one more pass. Go ahead and remove the brush. Now we're gonna go ahead and place our little plastic tip on here. We're gonna grab our pre-cut cloth. We're gonna lay the receiver on the side because our guide actually has a little place in it, a little cutout in here. So when we push through, we can actually drop some oil on there. So I go ahead and remove that at the end, pull it back through, and we're going to start with a clean one here. We want to repeat this process until we know our barrel is clean. Get in there. All right, so as you can see, that one came out pretty clean. It's just oil. Now there are a couple things I do want to, you know, give you guys a heads up on. We want to make sure that when we have the bore brush on here, that we push the rod all the way through the barrel and then bring it back through. There have been instances where somebody got it halfway through the barrel and then started push it back or pull it back through and the brush actually got stuck in the barrel. Also, we wanna make sure that we're taking these patches, we're running them all the way through and then we're removing those patches and then we're gonna pull it back through. That way we know every time we come back through here, we're not dragging any of the dirty uh, cloth right back down through there. Now what we're gonna do now is we're going to remove our cleaning rod guide and we're gonna visually inspect the barrel Okay, now if you're gonna be storing your rifle for a while, it's a good time to go ahead and take your rod guide back out, go ahead and put it back into the upper receiver, and we're gonna take a fresh patch, we're gonna push it in, put a little bit of oil, run it through, pull the patch off, pull, the, pull everything out, and then we would you know, move on to the next step. That way we can keep our barrel nice and lubed, depending on how long you can keep it stored. 
Now, of course, some of you guys, when you did your visual inspection through the barrel, may notice there's still a lot of debris and buildup in there, and that's okay. We're gonna show you how to take care of that right now, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so for you guys that still have that debris and buildup in there, you know, we're gonna go a couple steps deeper into this here. So we're gonna go ahead and shorten up our uh, rod here, and we're gonna grab a chamber brush, now, if you also have a variable drill at home, this is a good time to break that out, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure you keep that thing on medium, and I'll show you why as we get in here. So we can go ahead and get this guy nice and wet again. Put a little rag over the mess we got there. And we're gonna put this right into the chamber, the chamber here. And we're going to start to do some nice back and forth, you know, plunges in there. We want to try to get some nice rotations out of it. That's a little harder with the, just the rod by itself. But if you had this on a drill, and you chuck the rod up into the drill right here, then we're going to put it in there on medium, and we're going to go back and forth five times, getting a full 360 degrees out of those. And when we've done that, now that will, this is something we've been doing in the shop for a long time, that will break, break down a lot of the, the buildup and the gunk that's in the bore to get in there and clean out the area for the locking lug. Now this is a good time if you have compressed air, whether it's a can or an air compressor, you can get in there and clean out the locking lugs. So one good way of doing that is using compressed air. Now whether you're gonna use it in a can or an air compressor, doesn't matter, air compressor probably gonna work better. But we all know we're guys, even the females that have done this, we make stupid moves. And I've seen people blow stuff out, get stuff in their eyes, so be sure to wear some uh, eye protection when doing that. Now, of course, there's gonna be the guys who probably haven't cleaned their rifle in 14,000 rounds. They think they've shot their barrel out because they've got a two inch group at 50 yards. Don't worry yet. We've got another process where we use some JP, JB bore compound, and we're gonna get in there and we're gonna scrub this barrel. We'll have a video for that later on in time. All right, so the last step to getting this barrel prepped is we are actually going to use a chamber mop, or if you don't have a chamber mop, you can always just use a patch. So we're gonna get this uh, rod put back together here. We're gonna grab our cleaning rod guide, put that back in our upper receiver, Let's take some patches here. Now this is just really just to get rid of the last of that debris. We want to make sure we get all that debris and oil out of here. That's where this process comes in. Run this all the way through, catching our patches at the end. And there we go, we're pretty clean, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and uh, move the rod and the guide. Now I always like to just do one last visual check to make sure I don't have any debris in there. Everything looks good. So we're gonna set this off to the side here. And we're gonna get into our bolt and bolt carrier group. All right, let's go ahead and take our bolt carrier part here. So we're gonna start with removing the firing pin, retaining pin. Simple, we're just gonna pull that out. Carrier upside down, our firing pin will fall out. We're gonna set this stuff to the side here. Now we're going to push our bolt in, flip it upside down, and get our cam pin to come out. And now we can remove our bolt from our bolt carrier. So let's go ahead and put our bolt carrier to the side. We want to get our extractor off here. So we're going to take a little punch here. Now we want to keep pressure on the extractor as we push the pin out. Now the pin is directional on some bolts, so we're gonna go ahead and start here. Now as you can see, we're just gonna slowly push in, and I push the pin all the way out, and if I wanted to take my hand off of the punch, I could, and we're still safe. So now I'm gonna put pressure back on here, slowly remove my punch, pull my extractor off. Now, I've seen guys where they actually want to remove the spring from the extractor. We do not wanna do that. So we'll set that to the side. And there we go, we have our bolt is, I'd probably say 90% of the way taken apart. All right, so now that we got the entire upper 
separated. This is going to be a great time for us to clean everything. So we're just going to grab, I mean, you could use a toothbrush at home or, you know, Real Avid's got a great kit here. That's going to be great for scrubbing down the small parts and making sure everything's good. So we'll use a little bit more water solvent here, put it on our toothbrush or our scrub brush here. Now, let's start with the bolt and we're just going to start kind of scrubbing it down. Now, anytime we are cleaning our parts so we've got them taken apart, this is a great time to start looking for any, um, any problems, any big defects. Now, of course, it's, it's going to be wet and it might be a little harder to do it at that time. So you can always do that as we clean it up, but just being thorough and looking this thing over as, as much as possible is never going to hurt. We'll start on the bolt. We're just going to kind of work our way around, get, in, get into the bolt, get into a lot of these small grooves and clean the lugs. Just give this thing a nice little scrub down, make sure we get into the gas rings. All right, we'll set that down and we'll grab our extractor. We're going to do the same thing, just start scrubbing it down. Now this might be a great time to mention for you guys that are new at this. As you can see, we're getting this mat dirty, so if you are using any of your wife's uh, favorite towels, probably not gonna go over very well for you. And I'm probably speaking from personal experience. So we grab the can pin, we're just gonna clean it down too, and while I have it in my hands, I'm gonna still be visually inspecting for any, any cracks or any problems that we might have. Same thing with our firing pin, we're gonna get a little bit more solvent on here. Just scrub everything down, any build up off. Our camp in there and all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here with the carrier. We're gonna get a little bit more solvent on here. It's a bigger piece. You know, start with the, the gas key here. Start scrubbing it down, trying to get into all the small grooves, anywhere that any type of buildup is going to go. We're just going to scrub it down. We're looking to try to get rid of any small pieces of brass, debris, and then our brush there. There we go. We want to clean the face of the carrier. We want to come into the inside here, best you can, scrub that out. And if you guys have shot your rifles enough, you know they just get built up everywhere. And we're just going to keep setting everything down and moving, moving down the line. All right, so we're going to get into the inside of the receiver. Now, I've seen a lot of people say, hey, I clean my rifle. I clean my rifle really well. And then when we're looking at it and we start to look on the inside of the upper receiver, that thing is a pig. It's just filthy. So we're going to do the same thing. We get our brush. We're just going to start scrubbing. Got to get in there where the charging handle goes. We'll scrub that down. Get into the forward assist right there. Now this is, because this is a side charger, this is something I, I've noticed I like to add in. Now, my rifle, I've got, I started getting a lot of buildup in these little cuts and grooves in here. So we're gonna do the same thing with the brush. We're just gonna get in here, clean this out the best that we can. And even getting into the, the little cutout in the receiver where the side charging actually sits in there. A lot of debris gets built up in there. So let's get in there and clean that out really good. All right. Then we're gonna do the same thing with our charging handles. So on the side charger, we're going to pull the latch back and we're gonna put our thumb in there so we can lock it back like this. And that allows me to get into the grooves where the latch actually comes in. So now we'll get in here and we'll just start scrubbing it down. 
get onto the side of the charging board there. All right, set that down. We're gonna do the same thing with our top charger. Give that a nice little scrub. Get into the bottom of that charger handle where, where it fits over the key. A lot of buildup gets it gets up in there. So we wanna make sure, let's see that slides there. We wanna make sure we get in there, clean this out really well. All right, so now that we've done that, clean our hands off a little bit. We're gonna grab a, uh, like a dental pick, is what we call it. You know, there's a couple different ones out there. They've got them in brass, plastic. Grab the one that's gonna kind of work the best for you. And we'll start with our bolt. And so I'm gonna take this rag, I'm gonna wipe off the top of the bolt here, the bolt face, so I can actually see in there. And then in the little grooves in here, if I see anything, I wanna get in there Got to break some of that loose. Any type, any type of buildup, let's get that out of there. Now we'll grab our extractor. Now on the extractor, wipe this off a little bit, we actually have a lip and that's what grabs onto the brass and throws it out or helps throw it out, you know. So let's get in there and they got that little bit of groove in there. We'll take that dental pick. This is where this thing comes in handy. We get in there, we're just gonna, you know, kind of get in there, make sure we don't have any gunk or buildup in there. Scrub it out. You see any other little spots where some buildup can get in there? Let's get in there, work, you know, get all that stuff out of there. Now, another thing on the back of the bolt, we'll come back to the bolt, right here where the gas key is, the gas keys are, some, some buildup to get in there, some carbon buildup. You know, the dental pick, if you got a little stuff in there, you can get in there and scrape that loose. We don't really have a whole lot on here. We're just gonna kinda go back and forth, make sure any little bit we have, we're gonna get that off. Now we'll do the same thing on in front of the gas rings. We got this little groove. We're gonna do the same thing. Just kind of get in there. All right. Now let's look at the bolt carrier here. Now underneath the key, the gas key for the bolt carrier, we, we got a little groove in here. Now, of course, we're, we're being really thorough with this. This is a great time to be thorough. If you've got it, the whole rifle taken apart you know, part this far, you might as well get in there. Get in there, clean that groove out. Any of our gas ports in here, I like to go in with the pick, kind of make sure there's no buildup in there. And then at the bottom, on the inside of the carrier, at the bottom where the bolt goes in, a lot of, or a lot of carbon buildup will get in there. So just look in there, we want to take it easy in there. You know, this, these are really precision cut parts, but that's why the plastic Dental pick, we can get in there, get into the edges there. Just kind of go around, get some of that out of there. Now, if that's good, let's go ahead and start, you know, go through the rest of the part. We're gonna wipe everything down. And once again, you know, just like this whole time, we wanna be very thorough when we're looking it over. Make sure we're not seeing any cracks, any, any areas that have any type of damage, porting or anything like that, or pitting, I should say. Now, a good place to look on your bolt is going to be right where the cam pan comes in. There, a lot of people get some fractures through here. So we're just going to double check that. I'm not seeing any on here. So we're good there. Same thing on our extractor. I've seen people break these off. So we wipe it down. We're just going to look in the area here for any cracking right in the groove of these teeth or where this, this lip is. I've seen them crack through here. You know, this guy's good as well. Want to look for excessive wear on our firing pin. Get our cam pin, same thing on the cam pin. These things have cracked. I've seen these, you know, I've seen guys out in the field, be shooting, the rifle goes down. They're gonna be cracking right around the hole where the firing pin goes through. Now, the bolt carrier, 
Some things to look for on the bolt carrier that I've seen happen where guys are getting, you know, their bolts not going all the way into bolt lock back. They've got their adjustable gas block wide open. I've seen where these, the key, the, uh, the screws to the gas keys have started to walk their way out and then they're allowing uh, blow by. So, you know, just make sure these are good, staked in there nice and tight. You know, if you're running a variable mass bolt carrier like this one, let's wipe this off. Let's get, make sure we don't get any COP down on these O-rings and keep those nice and clean. Now, there's, you know, some guys will do this after, you know, every match. Some guys won't. This is really, you know, in, in our manual, we do have two different types of uh, cleaning periods. We have one that is around 300 rounds where we, we suggest you should take it apart and, you know, just give it a wipe down, look it over and put some oil on it. This type, this one right here is going to be more long term. Like if you put a lot of rounds through it, it's really where this thorough of a clean is going to come in at. So of course, you know, just wiping everything down, we're making sure all of our roll pins, everything's good on our charging handle. We don't have any cracks here. You know, I've seen charging handles that crack and break right here in the middle of the match. You know, just check all of that stuff. Same thing on the side charger as we did when we were scrubbing it or we're oiling it. We're just going to open it up in here in these little small spots. You know, on the uh, on your upper here, when you're looking at that, you want to check to make sure your spring's good, the pin's still in there good, the little roll pins are backing out in there, and you know, you want to check. I've seen, <laughs> saw a guy post a video where he cracked the lug and he was shooting, and the whole upper fell off on him. So just check all these little areas in there and give it a nice wipe down, dry it off. All right, so now we can, uh, now that we've done that, we're gonna move on to oiling everything and assembling the entire upper back together. All right, so now that we've, we've got our upper, you know, taken apart and we visually inspected everything and we cleaned it, now we're gonna get into cleaning the crown. Um, we shoot a lot, we can build up a false crown and that's gonna mess with our accuracy. So join us for video number three where we get into taking our comp off and cleaning our crown.